In 2014, I got a version 1 Raspberry Pi and started making a music player for the kitchen. Here's footage of me experimenting with controlling an add-on board and a flashing LED. This was then integrated into a docking speaker, allowing us to control music from a tablet. This is going back to a time before we even carried smartphones, I believe. I'm using a software package called Volumio. In 2017, I eventually improved the look of the system by hacking it into this Bluetooth speaker cabinet and integrating a random play feature. All this worked really well for us until last week, that's January 2019, when I accidentally wrecked the software whilst looking at adding a new feature. So, time for a long overdue rebuild. And this is what I want to add. It's an RFID tag reader, the PM532, and here I'm soldering up the four pins needed for the SPI interface. For a first test I'm going to use an Arduino, because if I've got the wiring wrong I don't want to ruin a Raspberry Pi. And here I'm testing the reading of some 25mm NFC tag stickers I got off eBay, checking the sensitivity of the aerial with this piece of ply. The Arduino nano code for this and the wiring is in the GitHub link. So now I'm confident of the wiring, I can test it with my Pi touchscreen setup. Ignore the two curled wires, they're providing power to the touchscreen. I'm using the SPI interface, so I've installed the I2C tools. With libNFC5 installed, I can do a test read of a card using NFC Pole. Blue is supplying 5 volts from pin 4, green is ground pin 6, purple is SDA pin 3, and grey is SCL pin 5. I've upgraded to Volumio version 2, it still has a web interface for tablets and phones, and importantly, it has a web API that I can access programmatically. I must credit iKelos for Pi NFC, which is a Python wrapper for libNFC, using which I've written a configurable Python program which can read RFID and emit commands to Volumio's web API. These commands can be to play a specific album or to pause the music and now I just need to fit it all back in the box and hold it in place with a few blobs of hot glue. Each of the scraps of paper that I'm dropping on top of the logo here have an RFID sticker on them, and the sticker is red and it instructs the system to play a different album. And we need a stop command. 